Hi everyone. Oh, I wanted to speak about um, the topic of love as in answers uh, from the angels, their views on um, love. I also just want to say this is not um, information that I walk around with in my mind that I know in an incarnated way. I've heard it before in working with people when the angels come through um, to give them messages, but it's not something that's that I know um, myself that's very integrated. So sometimes when I speak, um, there'll be pauses and, you know, I'm literally listening. Sometimes when I look up, I'm listening, literally looking sometimes at them or listening as if somebody was speaking to me and then translating that information. So the reason why I say that is I apologize for the lack of fluidity sometimes. Um, I don't have that information. Um, this talk today isn't rehearsed. I haven't um, written anything um, down for it. It's not practiced. So the angels will say to me, last night I went to bed and I asked for their guidance and um, I wake up in the morning and then they say to me, today we're going to talk about love. And I, d I don't really know until I press the record um, what's going to come out. So. Um, as I um, was preparing to put the computer on and to press record, the angel said they wanted me to write a small little poem um, on love. So um, I said, okay, and I just jotted down some things and I'll share it with you. It's very short. Love is not something we give or keep. Love is not something we sell. Love is something inside of us like a big ocean or well. Love is a rose unfolding. Love is when love is in a smile. Love is when you sit with me, listen to me, and linger a while. So I'll say that again because I stumbled all over it. As I said, this is not rehearsed. Love is not something we give or keep. Love is not something we sell. Love is something inside of us, like a big ocean or well. Love is a rose unfolding. Love is in a smile. Love is when you sit with me, listen to me, and linger a while. So the angels wanted me to speak about love. I mean, love really is the prize. It's, I think, something we all really want. Um, we Relationships are not easy. Friendships, family, um, partners. Even if you marry your soulmate, and things you're on the same page and things are so good and you respect the person and you love the person it is challenging to live with somebody who has different habits to you who even if they speak the same language sometimes feels like it's Chinese and it's really hard to sometimes try to understand what is being said and how to also communicate what you're trying to say because sometimes that person is speaking and you're trying to understand them but you can't and you feel like you're communicating to the best of your ability and, and they don't seem to understand you either. And so the angels wanted me to channel through the purpose of um, different relationships, how to get the most out of them, how um, to really flourish in your relationship with your partners and the people around you. Okay, so this is me um, listening um, to the angels to be able to um, give over the information. And the angels were speaking about how sometimes it feels as if it feels as if the pain or the hurt is coming from the outside, that somebody is doing this to you or somebody is doing that to you or um, they meant to hurt you by what they said. And the angels are saying that it isn't like that, that everything we experience, we experience as a part of ourselves from within ourselves. So if there's no angry buttons to push or there's no pain from childhood to push or there's no nobody can make you feel a certain way or nobody can hurt you or do anything to you unless 
there is some part of you that allows yourself to interpret their behavior in a particular way and this is very challenging and very difficult because sometimes you know we um close down from our partners or we um people get divorced and they end relationships friendships marriages um partners um they don't talk to their parents over these kinds of issues and um it has to do with do we take the responsibility for how we feel and how we interpret things or do we put the blame solely on on the other people and say you know what i'm never speaking to them again um that's the last straw they did this and this and this to me and they make me feel so bad inside so i'm gonna have nothing to do with them and that's all very well i mean we have freedom of choice we can walk away from hundred thousand relationships um you know but the problem is is what i've noticed with my work um working with the angels and working with my clients and what the angels say about relationships and um, patterns is that who chose the person in your life so it, let's say for example it's a marriage or a, a marriage people will come to me and they'll say that's it and, and I'm not speaking about the extremes of domestic violence and that though this kind of falls into patterns too um, is that um, I've got a little, my little dog is biting me, so I'm just going to pick him up. Come and join. There's Luigi. Hopefully sit still. Um, so, okay, where were we? Um, relationships and um, a marriage, for example. So somebody comes and they say, you know, this isn't working for me anymore. Um, he's not nice to me. I don't feel any love anymore. Maybe there was love, but it's just not working at the moment. And um, I want to find something that's exciting and I want to find somebody new. And I don't think I can go the rest of my life like this. And what I often see for people and what the angels have showed me is that they can divorce that person and go and find somebody else. But they will find the exact same person just in a different body and recreate the same scenario only that now they have to deal with um when you end relationships or you go through breakups you carry those wounds within yourself it's not just a need to get a lawyer get a piece of paper and be done with you i mean sometimes when there's children involved it's very complicated and they carry those wounds and they carry those pains but so do you. Even if you feel that you feel nothing and it won't affect you, it really will. And things then start to really unravel in very negative ways. So it's about saying, um, does it always come from the outside? Is the partner the one to blame or the parent or the child or your friend? And the angels are saying, no, it doesn't come from the outside. Um, if you are experiencing this in your life, nothing can happen to you on the outside that isn't taking place on the inside. It's a manifestation. I mean, you know, people say through your thoughts and what you think you create your reality. And it, there is a little bit of that, but it's to do with patterns. You know, if you have patterns inside yourself that you feel um, you're unworthy, undeserving of love, um, you're unlovable, um, nothing works out, your um, life is full of chaos and tension. It's sometimes when we perceive things in our environment in childhood or things have been modeled to us or maybe you had a perfect childhood but somehow you know you went to school and teachers reflected a lot of negativity back to you and made you feel bad about yourself or um, you were bullied you know and so you sum that up in terms of your perception and got low self-esteem there's many different ways that we can interpret things and create patterns with inside ourselves without just blaming parents you know for an improper childhood um, so this is about nobody can be there on the outside in a way that you don't want if it isn't taking place on the inside so we 
instead of looking outside ourselves and saying our partners are not loving enough to us, they um, don't treat me the way I want to be treated, um, they're mean or all these things. When you, the angels say that when you really examine yourself, our partners are sometimes also reflections of disowned parts of ourselves. That if you got into a relationship with somebody that was really kind and really helpful, you would then probably find and the switch would flip that you would now be the one that was being mean and unkind. So our partners sometimes are disowned parts of ourselves. So relationships then become marriage and all of this becomes really complicated when we don't understand that the other person is not there to be perfect or they're not there to fulfill all our um, unwanted dreams and take care of all the pain and to love us no matter what you know that's another example of another pattern is that we all want to be loved warts and all for who we are and sometimes people will get into relationships and they will show the worst version of themselves at the beginning. Sometimes, you know, the best version at the beginning to get the person and then the worst version of themselves to be able to test the person. I don't want to live with somebody that doesn't love me if I'm, um, when I'm ugly and I'm fat or, you know, I, I need to test this person and this happens all unconsciously, but um, sometimes people get into pushing other people away to see will they love me warts and all and you know some people didn't sign up for this so they leave and they're gone um but the angels say that this it's not about people loving the worst part of you it's about people loving the best part of you so instead of um people challenging other people and pushing people away unconsciously with wanting to be accepted for who they think they are um, we are not the darker sides of ourselves. We're not the worst parts of ourselves. And whatever you feed grows. So the challenge is to be the best version of yourself in relationship and to wake up each morning, even if 10 years have, has gone or 20 or you've been in a marriage 30 years, never to take the person for granted to think, well, this is certain and that's certain because even once they've asked you to get married and you've said your vows and anybody can leave at any time you know and they do so this is about every morning waking up and seeing that this person that you've decided to live with and and chose as your forever partner comes from that has had their own past has a mother and a father and was once a four-year-old boy or four-year-old girl there's so many aspects to them that that you don't know, that you don't understand. And it's important to hold them. You know, we might, with that respect, we might grow older and get adult bodies. But inside, we are children in terms of our sensitivity and how we perceive things. And um, our body grows, as the angels say. But that soul, when you come into your body, is intact. It's still there. And it goes with you as you grow older and that awareness and that perception is still there. So it's like you wouldn't scream and shout and let rip on a four-year-old. We hope you wouldn't. Um, like sometimes we do on our partners and tension and fighting and everything. So the angels say that it's very important when you get into arguments or you get into um conflicts with your partner to hold them with gentleness and um, an advice that the angels actually gave me was to um, get a photograph um, of your partner say when they're three or four and and I have one of mine and you put it on your desk and it's about looking at that daily in awareness to realize this is a little being in your house and to treat them with gentleness and to treat them with kindness and to treat them with respect and the angels say that needs to take place every morning when you wake up to begin anew every morning, not to think, oh, well, you know, I have this in the bag, I've got 20 years, I'm safe, I've got 10 years, I've got two years. Never to feel that kind of safe, not because the angels want you to walk on eggshells, but because they want you to have reverence for life, reverence for your partner, reverence for yourself, and to hold that person as a divine being of God and to treat them with respect. The angels were also telling me that what is the reason for a relationship we you know we might um, fall in love and be attracted to somebody 
for many different reasons. But the angels are saying that um, man and woman coming together, or woman and woman, or man and man, a relationship that you commit to, that you um, make a godly commitment to, is such that it's a vehicle to experience the divine. So I, I know a little bit about this coming through from the angels, and by no means a lot. So it's it's hard sometimes for me to understand it fully. But what I've understood them to say is that the primary relationship, if you work at it, if you show up for it with your whole heart, it is a vehicle to experience the divine. And it takes work. And I'm not there yet, but this I have faith in what the angels say. And they were talking about... Um, That this, oh, he's, oh my goodness, he's just eaten the chair. Oh, little puppies. Um, this is the, this is a long-term picture. You know, everything that you come in with in your life, you're not going to be able to achieve everything. So you have to have a volition, like your deepest heart desire, almost like to get um, an A4 piece of paper and write down, what do I want to achieve in this in in this lifetime? And that's also with our relationships. It's a long term. Um, it's a long term love. It's not something that you work at and in a year and two it's all done. It's a lifetime work. It's a lifetime of sharing, of listening, of respect. And then your relationships show you about yourself. They, you know, I had this experience in my own relationship where. I felt that I was right about an argument and um, you know because I have the help of the angels and I have the clairvoyancy and and this, this is something one has to really work with you know so I, it felt that it felt that I was right and this is not just me it's a lot of people I found when when it when it hurts or it feels so strongly um, and we feel like we're right we believe we are right but this is not an indication at all and I had this very um, humbling experience where with my partner I felt I was right about something and you know I really gave him a go about it and everything and um, I didn't think anything of it because I, I really felt it was a problem that needed solving but I went to sleep that night and I had a dream and the angels came and they said to me you know Nomi you're really wrong at the moment you and they showed me my husband and they showed me a tear and they said you you're really hurting him at the moment by the way that you're behaving and it's very hard for him to handle and you're making him really sad and I woke up in the morning and I, I mean that was me told off by the angels and I was completely I was completely and utterly shocked I mean I really really thought I was right and that sparked my journey of not reacting anymore and I, I mean I told my husband I went and I said to him you know I'm really sorry about what's happened and um, I take full responsibility and this is what the angel said and I, I really I really didn't see that and that sparked the journey for me of, of kind of now looking the angels have showed me that when things are taking place and um, we're having a hard time with our partners to not be reactive to not immediately um, think it's coming from the other person but to take some time to breathe on it deeply, um, to give some space between the argument. The angels say never, never sort something out while it's happening. You know, they recommend also writing letters to each other, gentle, loving letters. And to talk about it in a week's time or four days time or three days time. Not um, at that point when um, things are heated.